hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we are going to be looking at resistivity so without wasting much time let's get started so um what is resistivity well before we look at what resistivity is le let's have a, a look at this uh, general observation about metals as wire so uh, metals in the form of wire okay they offer some resistance to the flow of current through them okay so this resistance okay the resistance offered by a metal wire okay is uh, proportional to the length l okay and then inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area so the resistance of a wire is proportional to the length and then inversely proportional to the cross-sectional area now whenever we, we remove a proportionality sign we tend to introduce a constant okay so in this case when we, we take off the proportionality sign over here okay we have the resistance will be equal to then we introduce a constant that constant is what we call the resistivity and then it is represented with this symbol okay so we have the resistivity then we have the length and then the cross-sectional area okay so from here if we make resistivity the subject okay if we make resistivity the subject here will be one so we have resistivity times length is equal to what uh, resistance times cross-sectional area so we divide both sides by length by length okay so we have our resistivity being equal to what the resistance times the cross-sectional area divided by the length okay so mathematically the resistivity of a, of a wire is the product of what the resistance times the cross-sectional area divided by the length okay so um this is uh, the formula for finding the resistivity but then uh, we also need to take a good note of the fact that we are talking about wire okay wire in this case and so for wire to find the length we can measure the length times the breadth and saying we are using that to find the area it's not possible so we have another formula that is used to find the area of uh, uh, things like this okay so in this example the wire we, we we can get the diameter okay we can measure the diameter okay so once we can get the diameter then we can use the formula area is equal to what pi d square divided by 4 okay as our area now if this is let's say equation 2 and then this is our equation 1 then what are we going to get if we substitute this in place of this we are going to be getting what our resistivity to be what r pi d square all divided by what 4l so the resistivity of a particular wire okay a particular conducting wire when uh, we don't have when we know the area and then we don't have the diameter we can use this formula the equation number one to solve and get our answer but then once we know the diameter we can and we know the resistance and we know the length of the wire we can use this also to get the resistivity of the wire okay so uh let's have a look at some few examples to actually appreciate what we are talking about resistivity so let's look at example number one so let me quickly get rid of everything over here so example number one we have here Calculate the resistance of a coil of copper wire of length 2 meters and a cross-sectional area of what? 0 0.44 meters square. Uh, sorry, this is supposed to be uh, 0 0.04 millimeters square. Okay, so sorry about this. Okay, so calculate the resistance of a coil of copper wire of length 2 meters and cross-sectional area of 0 0.04 millimeters square given that the resistivity of the copper uh, of the copper wire is 1.72 times 10 raised to the power minus 8 ohm meters now this is something i forgot to tell you the si unit of resistivity is ohm meters okay so the resistance uh, divided by resistance multiplied by the distance so it's ohm meters okay so with this let's let's look at how to solve this problem so we have here a solution okay so we have to calculate the resistance so it means we don't know the resistance okay 
then of the coil wire of length so we have length is two meters mind you the, the length is in meters okay then the cross sectional area is what 0 0.04 millimeters square okay so uh, millimeters is like is times 10 raised to the power what minus 3 meters okay so if we square them to get millimeters square okay if we square this side then we square this side we get what millimeters square over here then this will become what um 10 raised to the power minus 6 meters square okay so to convert from millimeter square to a meter square this is the conversion okay so from here we can see our area is equal to what 0 0.04 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 what meters uh sorry yeah meters square okay so now that we have our we don't know our resistance but then we know our length we know our area and we know our resistivity we can simply solve for resistance and like i said resistance is proportional to what the resistivity times the length all over what the cross sectional area so our resistance will be equal to what the product of the resistivity which we have over here 1.72 times 10 to the power minus 8 ohm meters okay times the length the length is what two meters all divided by what the cross sectional area which is 0 0.04 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 meters square okay so uh one of the meters will cancel one over here another one will cancel this so the two meter uh, the meter square we have over here get rid of this and this so at the end we are getting ohms which is the unit of what resistance so our answer over here is let me quickly punch this into the calculator so we have a uh, 1.72 times 10 raised to the power minus 8 times 2 divided by 0 0.04 times 10 raised to the power minus 6 so uh this is giving us a uh, 0 0.86 ohms as our answer so uh yeah this is how we when we we have a question like this this is how we can solve for the resistance so let's have a look at another example where we will be given the resistivity then the resistance and then the diameter and then we are asked to find other parameters apart from uh, the resistance or the resistivity so okay so example number two so the resistivity of a constant wire of diameter 0 0.54 millimeters is 4.5 times 10 to the power minus 7 ohm meters calculate the length of the wire needed for the const for the construction of what 5 ohms resistor so solution let's draw down everything we know so the resistivity of a constant time wire of diameter so the diameter is what 0 0.5 millimeters okay now the resistivity is what we are giving over here so we have the resistivity to be what 4.5 times 10 to the power minus 7 ohm meters now we have to calculate the length okay l we don't know needed for the construction of what 5 ohm resistor so it means our resistance that we end to construct at the end of uh, uh, this thing is it should have the resistance of what five ohms okay so it's like we are we are not supposed to find what length in this uh case now remember we said uh resistance okay is equal to what resistivity times length all over what cross sectional area but because we don't know the area and we are given diameter it means our area is equal to what pi d square all over four so if this is our equation two and this is equation one if we substitute this into equation one what are we going to get we will get what we will get our uh let's see let's cross multiply over here so we get our resistivity times length to be equal to what resistance times area okay so we divide by resistivity resistivity okay so we get our length to be equal to what resistance times area all over resistivity but then from here we know our area is what pi d square over 4 so our length is equal to what resistance then pi d squared all over what 4 times the resistivity if you do the substitution very well 
this is what you will get so from here we can straight away get our length so we have our resistance to be 5 ohms times pi times uh, d square the d is uh, 0 0.54 times 10 to the power minus 3 so that's the conversion to meters so uh, millimeters milli is times 10 to the power minus 3 so we we square here as the d as the d is squared over here so for then we have the resistivity which is 4.5 times 10 to the power minus 7 okay so let me quickly point this into the calculator so we have 5 shift pi uh, just to get a pi on your calculator so shift and you, you press the pi so 5 times pi times 0 0.54 times 10 to the power minus 3 all squared divided by 4 times uh, into bracket 4.5 times 10 to the power minus 7 so yeah this is giving me 2.54 meters so this means if you want to construct a, a resistor okay to have a, a resistance of uh, 5 ohms and then we are using a constant wire it means we need to cut the constant wire to have a length of what 2.54 meters okay so whenever when we cut the constant wire we have the length of 2.54 meters it means per this resistivity and then the diameter of our length um, of our wire is 0 0.54 and then the resistivity of the constant time wire is this once we can't well, once we cut the length of what 2.54 our resistor okay the wire will offer a resistance of what 5 ohms which is what we want um, in the circuit that we are going to use okay so this is how we solve problems on resistivity uh, this is an extension of what direct current and then uh, in the next video we, we will probably be looking at Kirchhoff's law where we tend to look at how to use uh, loops to solve more problems so thanks you guys so much for watching um, and I'll see you in the next video if you are new to this channel my science tutorials kindly consider subscribing as we post daily videos on physics mathematics biology and chemistry okay so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye